Super Heaven, Youngest Daughter, Guitar Tabs, Guitar Lesson. So, a special tuning note with this, uh, if you're trying to play along with the recorded version, they're going to be in a E-flat standard tuning, so just everything dropped a half step. Uh, for our purposes here, just to keep it uh, easy and accessible for everyone to just jump right into without having to do all the tuning, uh, I'm just going to be doing this in a standard E tuning. But just a special note there, if you're trying to play in the exact recorded key, you'll want to do everything I'm showing you here, but drop everything down a half step so you're in an E flat tuning. Okay, so with all that out of the way, uh, let's jump into uh, this initial intro riff. And this is basically kind of like the second part of the intro where everything gets a little heavier and all that. This also happens after the first chorus and at the outro. Uh, basically, we do this really interesting chord shape up here. It's a C sharp suspended second, but we're doing it this way where uh, we'll have the 9 on the E, the 11A, and a 13D. So we're kind of doing a bit of a stretch there. If you want to do it like that, you can, but I'm fine using the pinky, so we'll just do the 9, 11, 13. It's just kind of clean at the intro. Uh, we do like a strum, a little hesitation, a few more on it. Just something like that, loose kind of shuffling. And then basically all we do here is we just lift that 9 off to an open for the open low E there. Keep the 11 and the 13 on the A and D there. And this will end up being like an E major 7. And with this, just kind of a few strums. Just real kind of chill uh, shuffling strums there. And we would go through those two chords three times, and then we would finish it up by doing uh, this just A power chord bar shape here. Uh, so like the 5E7 e, on the A and D. Hit that a couple times, but now we're going to add in the open uh, B and E string there. And this will essentially make it like an A suspended second. All right, and I kind of have my middle finger just lightly touching that G string just to keep it quiet. And then we just take that same power chord shape, drop it down to the G flat, F sharp here at the two and the fours. And we do kind of the same deal there. Like give it a couple strums, come down, hit that open B and E again. And uh, we kind of give like one more strum of the, the power chord. And at the intro, we just kind of do a dead muted strings here for a couple, like, like that. Just end the, uh, the clean out the intro there. All right, after we go through like a heavier version of basically just throwing some overdrive on top of that intro riff, uh, we get to this verse and it starts by just doing the A sus2 chord, that five sevens with the muted G and the open B and E. We just give that a single strum and let it ring for a bit. And then basically we just do the first half of our previous uh, riff there the 9, 11, 13 to open 11, 13. We just go through that a couple times. All right, just repeat that uh, A to those two chords a couple times uh, for the verse there. For the chorus, we kind of have this building up into it where uh, we just kind of switch to like the A power chord, the five with the sevens here. We just give it a little strum, build it up maybe about seven more times there and then just drop it down to that two and fours for the f sharp and just finish that out for about seven or eight all right and now we get to kind of the repeating chorus pattern here which is um kind of similar to what we've, we've seen before we come off to this open low e power chord the open low e 2a 2d give that a couple strums and we're going to be mixing in that same open b and e string here so we give that a couple, hit the highs. All right, and now we're gonna do this uh, compounded power chord. It's a C uh, sharp. And this will essentially be like a C sharp minor seven because we're gonna throw in those open B and E's too. But we hit the four A, six on the D and G, but we also wanna throw in this four low E for that extra low octave there, just to get it nice and big there. All right, and we just give that a strum, hit those open B and E. And then just maybe one more strum on the low parts here, the power chord. All right, drop it down to the F sharp there at the two and fours. A couple hits on that, open B and E. All right, and 
then up to the A at the five and sevens, and then hit it, open high strings, hit it again. And we just repeat that about four times. All right, go through that four times, and then we kind of build our way out of it. Um, we would, that final time through, we would go from the E to the C sharp minor compounded there. And then we just go directly to the A's and just build up on that five and seven. Now it'll get us out of the chorus. And this second bridge section, we're essentially just kind of doing like this muted single string picking through those uh, initial chords like that we usually do, the C sharp suspended, and then we throw in the E but we're just kind of like upward, like picking through it. Like we stay on the 13s for a few here on the D and we, we have this kind of palm muted too. All right, then we go to the 11s on the A for a few, to the nines on the low E, back to the 11s and just ride that out the first time through. Go through it again, but once we get to those uh, 11s to finish it there, we only do about four or so of them and then we just come off to that open low E for a few there. Go through the whole thing again, the nine, or sorry, the 13, 11, nine to 11s, go through that again. And then the final time through, we just do this uh, E string. We go a few nines down to a, a few twos up to the fives for about eight or so. Mm -hmm. 